This is so weird because I normally have to yell like super loud while I'm filming, but do you see this? Hold on, I gotta get up. Do you see this? That, that is a microphone. I have a microphone now and now I don't have to be outrageously loud in my videos. And, oh yes, you might have noticed a Pivo. So uh, thank you dad for getting that for Christmas. I paid for these myself. I think it's a Comica mic. Comica, it looks like this. Okay, that is the one problem with the Pivo. Anyway, I am gonna work with the horses today and I wanted to bring you guys along. So needless to say, it has been a long time since I've done YouTube. There are a couple reasons for that and mostly it's just that I've been in my master's program and I'm super busy. Over the past couple of months, like I just have been really, really burning myself out and therefore not having any time to do anything else because my energy is just like shot. And um, I've really, really been inspired to do YouTube lately, like really wanted to do it. And uh, I just couldn't get the energy to go do it. So I have been trying to force myself to get up and make breakfast like cook eggs and bacon I'm not a cook I've never done that in my life in the past three days I've been doing it um, and I, I feel a lot better I know that's not like the best meal in the world a little bit better yeah so I just was like you know what you just need to go do it and get back into it because I really do love making videos I just need to get back to it so anyway here I am, I'm doing it, and I've got some horses on my agenda to work with today, and I'm gonna bring you guys along with me. Now I'm out with all of the baby ponies, and I have some snakes, so I have to lock them up, because this is where I'm gonna work. Teddy, and Azula is very enthusiastic about the snacks. It's like, ooh, walking and eating is tricky. Ooh. Am I gonna be a dressage pony? <laughs> they don't all seem too mad at me. I just dewormed all four of them. <laughs> so we got all four in. Ooh. Oh, scary ball. Kitten. Oh my goodness, that can't be anybody else other than Ding Dong. Mr. Waggy Tail himself. Where are you going? Ding dong. Hee <laughs> hee. Ding dong. <laughs> Ding dong. Kitty kitty. And he wags his tail. I don't know. That's the funniest thing I've ever seen in my life. Oh my god, it's so cute. Everyone, this is Teddy. He is a four-year-old off-the-track thoroughbred. His race name is Soul Temptation, which is not a fantastic name, but we call him Teddy. He is a homebred and he was a slow poke. So now he's home. He has clean, nice legs, no blemishes, sound. Like I said, he just wasn't a very good racehorse. So now that we've got him home, we gave him some time to let his feet grow out a little bit. And as you can see, he is a lovely barefoot boy. You can't because it's in there, but he's barefoot and happy and healthy. I think he enjoyed his downtime. And now the next step is just gonna be getting him going under saddle. <gasps> under saddle, he says. So I think this is his like third time in these cross ties. I like the big sigh. Such a good boy. He really is such a sweetheart. Love this horse. Look at your tail, Bubby. Shouldn't that suck? That is gonna have to be a project for another day. <laughs> you drop some teeth on the ground. You want them?
was such a so very good boy. So cute. He is so good. He's like, whatever. I've never been over here before, but I'm just gonna be Teddy. So he's like, hey, remember me? It is currently 3.46, and the guy that feeds, feeds at four. So um, I'm probably just gonna call it. Teddy is currently for sale. All of his information is on my Instagram story under For Sale Horses. I'll put some of his information down below, or maybe a link to a website page. Do you want to be licking? This is our barn cat, Rocco. We really want pets. Thank you guys so much for watching this one. Be sure to follow me and all of the horses on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook at Jet Equithery. I also have a podcast called the Equithery Podcast wherein I talk about all things training and horses and behavior and mental health and life and existing and all of that good stuff. So check it out. Give it a listen. It's on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, all of the things. I also have my website and my podcast website, jetequitheory.com and equitherypodcast.com. So be sure to look at both of those. I worked very hard on them. There is a lot of really cool information on them. If you would like to learn more about horses and things like that, that's a good place to go. So uh, all of those links will be down in the description below. Check it out, and I will catch you guys in the next video. I almost said episode because I'm a podcaster. <laughs> okay, bye.